Hello, Lisa Sabaniak here from Life Like You Mean It. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how what you expect is what you're actually going to get. We have millions of bits of information coming at us in every given second, and our brain is not able to process all of that information. So it needs to have a filtering system in place to help it to actually figure out, okay, what needs to stay, what needs to go, right? And if it stays, where am I categorizing this? Now you can only imagine a kind of big filing system, if you will. But your mind also, in order to do this, needs to have some sort of reference point, right? How does it know what to get rid of and what to keep? And then when it's keeping it, how does it know where to file it? So this is where in NLP, we are looking at our filters. Now we have three main filters. We can delete things, we can distort things, and we can generalize things. And all of these choices are built upon our beliefs. They're built upon our values, every decision that we've made in the past, and also all of our memories. Now that's not just the conscious ones, that's the unconscious ones, because our unconscious mind has a very important job to do, and that is to protect us, to keep us safe. And in order to do that, it needs to remember everything. So it's all of those memories. Hmm. And so what your brain is doing is as you are going about your day to day and you are experiencing things in your life, you are looking at those things through the lens of somebody who has all of these beliefs, all of these values, all of these past experiences, right? All of these different memories and past decisions, and your brain is looking at all of that, comparing what you've got going on right now in the present and using that to filter this information. Some of that information, it really truly will just delete. It doesn't match what is going on in here. And so it goes, it distorts it, right? The classic example of this that I always like to give is somebody gives you a compliment and rather than being able to accept the compliment, perhaps just internally, you start thinking of what their ulterior motive is. What did they really mean by that? Right? You're distorting the fact that somebody was just giving you a genuine, simple compliment and you've made it into something else because it didn't match the compliment, didn't match the belief system that you've got going on in your brain. And then, of course, we've got generalizing. So generalizing is something like, you know, things never work out for me. Right. And really putting that big caveat, never. And so this is where I want to talk to you about how what you are expecting is what you're getting. What you expect to happen in a day to day or in a certain situation or even just in life in general is also based on these past experiences that you've had, the beliefs that you have generated because of that, all of your past decisions, your values and your memories, of course, all of these things come into play for what your expectations are with anything from the very, very small and minute to the very large and complicated, right? The things that we really are taking risk on. So when you are starting your day, say, and you've got a big meeting, and let's say that this is the thing that you are expecting to go badly, Perhaps maybe in the past you did something that was new to you, or you had to stand up to talk about something. Maybe it was something actually similar to this, right? You had to stand up and give a presentation about something that you thought you really knew, and somebody asked a question that just threw you off and you didn't have the immediate answer. Or maybe you did something similar where you put yourself a little bit outside your comfort zone and you were a bit embarrassed. Or maybe it wasn't even something that was really truly negative, but you had distorted what had actually happened. So perhaps say you gave a presentation in the past and simply nobody came up to you to say how what an amazing job that was. And so you distorted that bit of information instead of being able to see that perhaps everybody had a place to go, perhaps maybe some people were already late for their train, right? What, whatever it was that maybe other people, everybody in that room had different reasons for why. And they don't match what you're perceiving the reason to actually be. So you've distorted that into being, well, my presentation must have been terrible. Nobody wants to say anything, right? So regardless, whether we've got a situation that matches this presentation that you've got to give today, or just something that puts you a little bit outside your comfort zone, as perhaps this presentation is, your brain is going back and looking at those past experiences and using that to 
filter everything that you are seeing. So then if you consciously add to that, you know, this isn't going to go well. Like, I feel like I don't have all of the answers. I, I know that I'm really prepared, but oh my gosh, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, you know, maybe you just don't enjoy standing up in front of people, right? And so you're just playing that loop over and over. So now you're consciously also involved in this loop that your brain is going through with looking at your past memories, etc. So now it doesn't matter what happens in that presentation. You are going to distort the information coming at you to match the narrative that is in your brain. And that narrative is it's not going to go well, right? Perhaps even the narrative is even more sinister than that, right? I'm going to be humiliated, something along those lines. So somebody tells you after the presentation, that was amazing. That was the best presentation I've ever been at. You were not expecting that. You were expecting it to be terrible. And so what do you think your brain is going to do with that information? Do you think you'll just openly accept that and be like, oh, it was amazing. I was completely wrong. Oh, my goodness. Or are you more likely to delete that altogether or distort what they've said and start looking for the hidden meaning, looking for the ulterior motive, start telling yourself they're just being sarcastic or whatever it is that you've got going on internally, right? You are going to see what it is that you are expecting to happen because you're on the lookout for it and you will distort, delete, or generalize the information that's coming in at you to match what you are expecting. Same person wakes up for a presentation and says, I've done the best that I absolutely can. Yep, it might be that somebody asked me a question I don't know the answer to, but you know what? I've been in this position before. I have had to actually think on my feet before and I'm actually really good at it. So I am excited for this presentation. I am gonna nail it. They're gonna experience that exact same presentation differently than if they woke up and they were, oh no, this isn't gonna go well because they're expecting to nail it. They're gonna see that when that same person comes up and compliments them on what a great presentation it was, they will accept it. They don't need to delete, distort, or generalize that at all. They can just accept that piece of information because it matches the narrative in their head. I hope that helps. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends about it. Bless.